Good morning again. 726 on Daybreak. Local coverage continues with the morning's business headlines. Yeah, Allegiant Airlines is making a $40 million investment in Indianapolis. Also, the Dow crossed a major milestone. Jane King's live the NASDAQ with those stories. Good morning. Hi, Scott Lauren. Good morning. Well, Discount Airline Allegiant will open a $40 million aircraft base at Indianapolis International Airport. It will begin operations in February and will create 66 high paying jobs by the end of the year. Now, the company said the Indianapolis space will house two Airbus aircraft and allow the airline to offer more routes from Indianapolis in the future. Allegiant said it plans to immediately begin hiring pilots, flight attendants, mechanics, and ground personnel for that operation. Well, SeaWorld may be putting itself up for sale. The street reports it's hired a bank, Evercore, to look at its options. SeaWorld has seen visits drop in the past few years. Guest spending has remained flat during that time, so not a great financial combination there. The company also has been working to recover from public relations problems that stem from negative press about its animal captivity programs. And Apple has posted more than 70 job listings related to mapping technology just in the past month. Adding more map experts won't just help it compete with Google Maps. The new hires could also help Apple become an important player in augmented reality. And also autonomous systems. And Facebook says it will soon stop showing links to slower loading websites. Facebook wields a huge amount of power over what sites get served in your newsfeed. Facebook sharing tips with developers to get their pages to load faster. And Dow 22,000 in the books. Apple helped lead the Dow over that milestone. But a word of caution, August is typically lousy for stocks. It's the worst month for the S&P 500 since 1987. That is according to the Stock Traders Almanac. And Starbucks has a new drink. It involves beef jerky. It's called pepper nitro with a jerky twist. That'll wake you up. Uh, the drink is a nitro cold brew coffee topped with honey foam, cracked pink peppercorn, and a garnish of grass fed beef jerky. Wow. It's just being served at the roastery in Seattle at the moment, but mm. uh, could be coming nationwide. It we'll does see. look like one of those high octane beers, though. You know, old, ah. like the nitro <laughs> beers, you know, yeah. or a Guinness when it's beer poured, with I wouldn't have any bacon idea. or jerky. Where's your mind right now? Yeah. Well, I mean, look, I've been up for a long time. It's lunchtime, essentially. <laughs> Liquid lunch. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. That's right. It is. It's 728 right here. Okay, coming up next, team coverage of